Welcome to Arts Talk. I'm Bill Roberts. I'm Jennifer Boudreaux. How are you, Jennifer? I'm super good. Excited for Valentine's Day. Enjoying our mild weather so far. This, How are you? I am doing well. I was battling a bit of a cold, feeling yeah. better. You so. look green. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Thanks for that, Jen. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Your very first Valentine's Day as a married couple. Any yeah. special plans? Well, I'm going to enslave him to work for me for the weekend <laughs> while we're doing the deep promotions out at the mountains. And then on the 15th, on the family day, we're going to do a celebration of our wedding because I haven't had enough attention for that yet. Oh, I wouldn't have thought. Yeah. Any what about you? Uh, you know, I'm going to be honest, and if my wife watches the show, no specific plans as of yet. But ah, that's not to say I'm not planning yeah. something. I am working on something, but I, you know, I don't want to be talking about it because she may view the show. So. You well, can't give away surprises. That's true. Then they're less surprising. You know what else is exciting about February? What? Arts Talk is moving to two shows a month. We are. Isn't that? So that's going to be giving us more of an opportunity to go out and cover more events, cover a lot more mm -hmm. of our local arts scene, talk to a lot more mm -hmm. of our local artists. That's going to be fun. I'm really excited because before we only had space for four events in a show, and now with doing two shows a month, we can have eight. So if you have any local events that you want to promote, then please send us an email or contact us on Twitter or anything, and we will make sure we get them out here. And if they want to send us an email, where do they send it? Uh, ArtstalkEdmonton uh, arts <laughs> at gmail.com. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> and our website as well, ArtstalkTV.com. You can go there and contact, uh, contact us through the website. You've got me twisting my tongue now as well. Uh, I have that effect on men. So who do we have in February as our first guest? I'm so excited we have a magician with us today, yes, Sheldon Cassavant, and he, this is our second time with Sheldon on our show, and uh, I'm just, I'm so excited. I showed him a magic trick backstage, and he was impressed. He was impressed. We also mm -hmm. have Athena Gordon, director of the mm -hmm. upcoming show Boeing Boeing at the Walterdale, which from what I've heard sounds like a real fun show to go see. Oh, it sounds hilarious. So I'm, I'm looking forward to talking to Athena and hearing all about it and getting a little bit of a synopsis on the show. I think it'll be really good. Me too. Come oh. back and check it out. Be right back. And welcome back. This is exciting. We Hi. have Sheldon Cassavant with us, a local uh, magician, but not just local. He's world renowned as well. You've been in Vegas, all over the place, haven't you, Sheldon? Yeah, it's been uh, been a lot of fun uh, to be able to travel the world, sharing uh, sharing my magic. Excellent. I'm so, so excited. Yeah, be I've been talking about this for weeks. <laughs> I'm so excited. You're going to make Jennifer disappear, right? We'll see. We'll no. see. Should we bring her back at the uh, end? Or? Well, yes. maybe. We'll think okay. about that. Okay, the other good. thing that scares me a little bit, we had you on our previous yeah. show way back, and you took my lunch money. You, you asked me for $20, <laughs> and it disappeared. I never got it back. Well, you got it Got to do what you got to do. <laughs> so what's to upcoming? Just before we get into some some uh, magic here, yeah, what's upcoming? It's for been you? really busy actually lately with uh, with corporate events and uh, conferences and and uh, a lot of what I do is like after dinner entertainment for those sorts of events. So mm -hmm. actually last week I was in uh, in the states in Ohio. Uh, wow. Next week I'm in Kentucky and so uh, traveling. Yeah, North America. Nice. To, to share the magic. The world traveling man. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, what do you got for us? Well, Let's I see. thought I'd maybe waiting. start by teaching you a magic trick. Nice. Okay, well, here, maybe don't I'll do put this, this down. Okay, so if you ever see another magician again, don't tell them I told you. Okay. 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 So uh, safe. first, I'll show you what it looks like, then okay. I'll teach you how it's done. Okay. Okay. So all it uses is just uh, a napkin. Okay. So you can try this at home. It just uses a, a regular kitchen napkin. Okay. And what you're going to do, again, I'll show you what it looks like first, then I'll teach you. Okay. What you're going to do is just tear that napkin in half. Excellent. Okay, you're going to tear it into into quarters, into eighths, sixteenths, and then it gets complicated. You're just going to uh, tear it into as many as you can. I'm getting nervous all of a sudden. <laughs> you just give a little wave, a okay. snap, and as when you do that, that's when actually the magic happens. That's when those pieces actually um, go back together. What? Now I said I teach you how it's done. Okay, again, I, I normally don't do this, but it actually uses um, another napkin. What? Okay, I, I, I cheated. Oh. I cheated. Two napkins, okay. and uh, this is actually the napkin that I uh, I shred into pieces. You're so making it's starting to make sense set. now. I'm yeah. sorry about that, but I tell you what you'll do: <laughs> is you're going to start with the napkin crumpling a ball. Okay. okay. You're going to hide this in your okay. hand hide the entire the time, and uh, then you're going to take another napkin, and this is the one that you're going to show your audience. Okay. Okay. So the whole time that you're uh, you're showing them this napkin, you you make sure they don't see the one secretly hiding in your hand. Right, okay. hide the secret. <laughs> hide the secret one. Then, what you're going to do is you're just going to tear it in half. Okay. You're going to shred that napkin 
into as many pieces as you can. Kay. Then what you need to do is the one and only magic move, and that is the switch. Okay, you switch Sweet. the two in your hand. You wave, you snap, you pretend to do a little magic, but what you're actually doing is you're actually um, opening up that napkin that was in your hand from the start. Right. And to your audience, it looks like you just did a pretty cool magic trick. But I, uh, I do have to warn you, okay? You don't want anyone to see the pieces that are left in your hand. Right. And if they do see these pieces, all you need to do is just um, another wave. Okay. Another snap. And then you just... Uh, wait a second, well, that was in pieces. <laughs> what? Put those back together as well. And there you have a pretty cool magic trick. That's, and, uh, that's yeah, that's pretty good there, <laughs> Sheldon. I, I oh, don't think that's something please, I could. Please, you can try this at home. <laughs> I'm going to go home, rip up I a napkin, like and see how that touch. works. Good luck. Thanks. I have faith. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. There'll be a lot of pieces all over the floor, but you'll be fine. You'll be fine. So yeah, you'll be thinking about that for a while. I will be. <laughs> what else you got for us? Well, I tell you what, I um, I brought something along that's pretty special. Um, you see, with magic, if you look out for it, you can see magic all around you. If you look out for it, you can see magic in the simplest pieces of nature, right. even. Um, What's in here? You can even see magic in things such feather. as this simple little feather. Now, I want you to watch very closely. Okay, the feather? Because you're going to see that feather Kay. float in the air. Okay, watch closely. Yeah. <sighs> Floating. Wow. Floating. Magic. Floating. Yeah. She's impressed. Not so much. Not so much. I, did, I feel the skepticism here. It gets better. I'm it still nervous better. about the napkin one. <laughs> Tell you what. Feather goes inside the box. Box goes onto the table. I'm going to bring this a little closer so you can see the moment it happens. Kay. We're going to make that feather float in the air. You need to watch very, very Kay. closely. Kay. Keep an eye Pretty on sure that Make sure everybody feather. at home is watching. I can't see the feather. It's <laughs> in a box. Keep an eye on that box. Okay. Watch very closely. You can see the moment that feather starts to, starts to float. Check this out. Watch closely. Okay, you're watching too close. Thanks. Too close. Too close. Back that up. That's perfect. That's good. That's okay. good. Here we go. Uh, see, but the whole table is. Flying. How do I know the feather's floating? I can't see the feather. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, the whole table is uh, flying across the set. You can check that out. Sheldon, are you a witch? <laughs> that is a real table. Oh. What's I saved your life. <laughs> you <laughs> saved my life. You're a hero and a magician. Well, tell you what, the pretty cool. Yeah. That's going Very to do cool. the magic this time. I'm, can I sit on okay, it? Okay, you're going I to try? do the magic. I want to. Um, no pressure. Okay. No pressure. Uh, with this hand, I'll get you to hold on to that corner. Okay. And with that hand, I'll get you to hold on to that corner. Go ahead and keep an okay. eye on that feather. Okay. Just hold tightly, and you can see and feel the moment it happens. Just concentrate on that box. Wow. It's all up to so you. Hard. <laughs> You're doing it. <laughs> You're making the okay, table I know fly. you want to take a look underneath. Nothing tricky. No, there's nothing, nothing under there at all. You can let go. Let go? <laughs> it wants to leave. It just wants to fly away. There's absolutely what? nothing. For those of you at home, there's absolutely nothing under the table. There's no like fan mechanisms or anything here that are, that are causing this table to fly. Will this make me fly now? You can give it a try. You can keep it in your pockets and, and see what happens. Is it working? <laughs> um, sure. <laughs> wow, that, keep trying, keep trying. that is awesome, that cool? Sheldon. That yeah. is really cool. Thank you. That's, oh, that deserves a hand. I think yeah. from everybody here, even in the... <laughs> Come on, everybody clap. Thank you. Thank you. So, you also do large illusions as well, right? Yeah, uh, actually I used to do more and more of the larger, uh, larger style, uh, where I'd perform the, uh, the grand illusions, mm. pulling someone in half, uh, levitation, making someone disappear. Um, but I've actually, over the past few years, focused more on the sleight of hand sort of magic, mm -hmm. and that's allowed me to, to travel more, uh, being able to essentially fit my, uh, my show in a, a few check bags and be able to, to share my magic with, uh, with larger audiences, oh, still fantastic. with more of the sleight of hand. So are all of these things, like, magical things you found through your travels or were they constructed through your stuff? Yeah, a good question. A lot of the magic that I do is, uh, is uh, it could be invented by other magicians, so a lot of that would be where, uh, where I kind of source mm -hmm. out the, um, the items. Uh, and then a lot of it is, is looking at stores like uh, antique, uh, <laughs> antique malls or um, even dollar oh. stores with, <laughs> with just regular <laughs> items you can find around the house 
and being able to cr create some magic with that. So always keeping my eyes open for, for interesting props and items to create some magic out of. So this is haunted. That was a ghost. Uh, sure. Yeah, that was just a haunted So you, you happened to walk into an antique wall and it started to float and you said, I want that. I want that <laughs> one. Exactly. The one that's floating. <laughs> I'll take it. So how many years have you been doing magic now, Sean? I started uh, having an interest in magic when I was about eight or nine years old. And then when I was 11, I really got uh, serious into it. Mm -hmm. And so that was 19 years ago. So, uh, so 30 years old now and been practicing and performing for about 19, 20 years. Well, that's awesome. You know, we're so excited to have had you on the show. And thank again, you. thank you so much for coming. You didn't take my money this time, You're which good. is great. Yeah. Next time. Next I still time. don't know how you did the, the uh, table. And I'll go home and practice that napkin trip. Trick. I'm going to start just ripping napkins and seeing what happens. Good luck. Thanks for that. <laughs> Thanks again, pleasure. Sheldon. Thank, thank you. you so much. We'll be right back after this. Hi, welcome back. We're here to tell you of some super fun events that are coming up in the Edmonton area. So, Bill, why don't you tell us what you have first? I have two really exciting events coming up at the U of A Studio Theatre presents A Midsummer Night's Dream, of course, by William Shakespeare. That runs February 4th to the 13th at the Tim Center for the Arts. And the other event I've got is called Broken Sound 2, which runs February 24th to the 27th. And that is put on by the Brian Webb Dance Company in uh, conjunction with Gary James. That is also taking place at the Tim Center of the Arts. What have you got, Jen? I'm really excited, actually, this month. We have Art After Dark. I don't know if you've ever heard of this, but it's an opportunity for people to go and learn how to paint a specific painting. So they're oh, doing nice. two classes this month. Um, February 23rd, you're going to be painting fireflies, and that will be at Pravada Wine and Tapas in St. Albert. And February 26th, you'll learn to paint poppies, and that is at the Vinyl Rock Cafe, also in St. Albert. So you can go to artafterdark.ca if you want some more information on how to get into one of those classes and mm -hmm. create your own masterpiece. Nice. And then my next event is the Edmonton Film Group. They have a short film screening on March 5th. It'll be at Nate and start at 3 p.m. So you can check out their Facebook page to get inf more information on how to submit your own short films or how to go and view the whole project. Exciting. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Magic. Isn't that exciting? It was so fun, but let's not get distracted. Athena. We have Athena Gordon with us here now. From the Walterdale. And I already asked you before you came on camera if you would have a magic trick for us, but oh. I guess not. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Her anyway. magic is in the theater productions yes. that she does. A whole other kind of magic. Awesome to have you here, Athena. Thank uh, you. Athena Gordon, uh, director of production at the Walter Dale Theater. Yeah. And uh, you actually have a production that's just opening called Boeing Boeing. That's right. I want to hear all about it. Uh, Boeing Boeing is a farce. So it's about a gentleman in Paris who is juggling three fiancés. They are all flight attendants, and he wow. uses the flight schedule to help him manage the three so they're never in the same city at the same time. Mm -hmm. However, during the course of this play, we have his friend Robert show up from Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. One fiancé gets ready to leave. Another one is coming, but one ends up on a brand new plane that is much faster, so she comes early. Uh -oh. One leaves, but gets turned around because <laughs> of bad weather. So all three end up in the same apartment. So you have slamming doors, trying to keep people, wow. you know, from finding <laughs> out what's going on. It's absolutely hilarious. That sounds like it. So when you're directing a show like this, what kind of challenges do you have? Um, there's lots that you have to kind of consider. Uh, for example, in our space at Walterdale, um, it's a little bit tight, mm -hmm. so set is really important. Mm -hmm. There are seven doors on the set and not a lot of space. So you have to kind of figure out how you're going to move your actors from one place to the other without having chaos backstage. I'm sure. Yeah. And didn't you say, Jen, you know one of the actors that are in this show? Yes, Micah. Yes. I'm so excited. I think he said he's playing the lead. He so. is. So he he's juggling like all the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so how many shows have you done at the Walterdale, uh, I think? Oh, my goodness. Um, I've been doing Walterdale shows since 1999. So wow. I think I'm at about 15 now, maybe. Mm -hmm. So Fantastic. in varying capacities, yeah. Excellent. I'm, I'm sure has, being a director, every show, your most current show is your favorite. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> what are some of your favorite moments in those 15 years? Like, you must have just seen some crazy things. Yeah. Absolutely. I've seen 
pentagrams painted on the floor in black light paint. Um, I met my husband at the Walter Dale on a show, so I mean, I'll go wow. with that as my absolute favorite moment. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Um, yeah, lots of opportunities to learn there. So, you know, I've done assistant directing and acting and working backstage and everything, and it's a great place to learn uh, to be able to kind of build your experience in every aspect. Well, it is a great venue. I've done seven or eight shows there myself and love it there. And as you said, it's a great learning environment. Mm -hmm. So for those that maybe want to, are just coming out of university, mm -hmm. high school, want to get into acting, great place to go. Absolutely. If you visit our website, walterdaletheatre.com, you can find out all about our um, auditions, all about different opportunities that we have to volunteer, whether it's front of house and coffee bar or you know lighting design and sound design. We've got every opportunity available. Okay, and, and go ahead, Jill. Oh, I was going to ask, so where in Edmonton is the Walter Day Dale Theatre for people that haven't been there before? Absolutely. Walter Dale is mm. in the heart of Old Strathcona. We are in the old fire hall that is attached to the Strathcona Farmer's Market, so we're really easy to find. Excellent. <laughs> yes. So you're pretty heavy into the fringe stuff then when the fringe is happening yes, front and center. Yes, absolutely. Our venue is um, one of the main venues, one of the main stage venues for fringe. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of traffic coming in and out for that for sure. So besides your full show season, you then have the fringe in the summer, then you're right back into your full show season again. Absolutely. So always something happening at the Walterdale. Absolutely. So regarding Boeing Boeing, how yeah. do people get more information about the mm -hmm. show? Um, again, you can get more information at walterdaletheatre.com. You can visit our Facebook page or you can go to Ticks on the Square mm -hmm. if you're interested in purchasing tickets. We run until February 13th. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Athena, thank for you. being on the show and talking about Boeing Boeing. Get out to the uh, Walterdale. Make sure that you check out the show. Mm -hmm. Not just Boeing Boeing. They do a wonderful season there, so there's a lot of shows that you can check out. We'll be right back after this. What a fantastic show. It was so good. Now, wasn't Sheldon, again, amazes me. I have no idea how you make a table float across a set. We have a full crew here. You may already have forgotten, but I actually made that table That's floats. true, you did. Yeah. So you were the actual magician. <laughs> and also a big thank you to Athena Gordon. Get out to mm -hmm. uh, Walterdale and see the show Boeing Boeing. Sounds like an exciting, fun show to see. Yeah, and I'm also excited about our next show that we're yeah. doing this month in February. So last month there was the art battle in uh, Edmonton at Knoxville's, and Bill and I went to cover the sure segment, did. and we have the results of the art battle and a special guest. So come back next in a couple of weeks and watch our next show. It'll be so fun. You won't want to miss it if you want to know who mm -hmm. won. We're going to exactly. keep that a big secret to who won the art battle. Unless you were already there, no. Well, <laughs> of course, then you would. Anyway, thank you so much for watching Arts Talk. We'll see you again.